guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I'll be reacting during two episodes six of Feeling Good, Pretty Good. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Oh, yeah. It is kind of time for them to do this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hey, Hannah. Dang, you know what? Realizing that this is the last movie that Huggatoe's gonna be in. Oh my god. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Keep the memories close, people. I still kind of wish they went back to the old way instead of it being like, okay, let's take the three most recent because you know when Kitty Kitty Pretty Cure All Mo was not in movies anymore, you know. Your girl kind of was upset about that because I couldn't see my two favorite couple anymore. <laughs> I couldn't see mom and dad anymore. Mom and dad is probably married somewhere. Yeah, a lot of time, you fine. So, I mean, you're just going to stay at, at home while, you know, she's at school? Okay. Something like I don't know anything. Mm -hmm. Oh, latte. Oh, because her mom's not here. Oh. Mm. 
Yeah, what do you do in the house all day when Nautica's mom isn't here? Oh, you mean Kobayashi? Kobayashi's fine. <laughs> Watch Kobayashi's Dragon Babe. That's how I was like, we got in Kiana. But the fact is that Cody's with me. I'm only like that when I have to go somewhere with my mom. And Cody's just like, Wait, where are you going? And I'll be like, bye, baby. I'm for son. <laughs> it makes me wonder, is she going to get out? <laughs> you, you want her to eat outside? Yeah, mm hmm. She's getting out. Yana and Kiana style. There she goes. It just reminds me of all the times in Nebraska when either myself, my friend, or my father accidentally let our dog out and we're running after one little dog. And then there was one time when we had to run after two little dogs. I almost had to run after him, too where I used to live because my mom was getting groceries and I was going to the restroom and next thing you know I hear ah! and I run out and I'm like what's wrong and thank god she caught him are you gonna go you know to another car You'll find out. And then one of you can stay with a pinch latte and the other one can go to Nautica. It's a win-win solution. Oh. No. Oh. Yeah, because she's so attached to her. Where are you? Come here. Did you hop down? You hopped down. <laughs> oh, baby boy. <laughs> you hopped it down. Hmm, move your leg. Your leg. Move, move, your, move your leg. Oh. You so fluffy from your bath. No. I 
And so now since she's not at home, she feels lonely. You want to say hi? Even though they can barely see you, I got you. You're okay. I got you. He's a big boy. He just looks like a low old cotton swab. <laughs> no. Oh. Kind of, a, it's supposed to be more of a strawberry because of it, but the way the shape looked, that was a freaking apple. Apple strawberry. Are you okay? Big boy. Yeah, he only, she's only what well, I'm gonna say he he she only heartless because Kobayashi probably broke I mean not Kobayashi. Lady Toru probably broke up with him and so it's why the way she is right now. You see. <laughs> see, you know what I kind of wish that they did? And we're only going to see when we get later on in the, last, in the rest of the series. There's three animals plus a puppy. So when those three transform, there is nobody there looking over a latte. When it was just Nadoka, or like really still just Nadoka, you still had two of them watching over latte. But because the fact is, all three of them have partners, it's a little harder now. And then when the fourth year comes, and whatever she's gonna be, I mean, we got a dog, we got, can I just say dog? Um, a cat, a rabbit, a penguin. Maybe the last one could be a dog. I don't know. I mean, it would make sense to have a dog with a cat because there's a cat, but who knows? So, there should be an extra penguin, I'm mean, an extra penguin, extra mascot that should be watching over Latte. I'm just saying. That poor thing over there is just like hurt, sick, laying there, can't do anything until it's over. Because like, let's say one of the freaking villains of the week attacks and then they dodge it and it hits Latte. Can you get to Latte in time so that she doesn't get hurt? I think not. Oop, you got hiccups? Poor baby. My son has the hiccups. So I think people are now trying to ship him with grades, maybe? I think. 
We ship with Kobayashi and Sonya, Attack of the Evil. Nice. You want to go bed? The fact that she would literally stop her fight with him just to save Sparkle. Oh my god. That's a friend. Yeah, see, look at that. Does that look like an apple to you? I mean, come on. That look like an apple to me, not no freaking strawberry. There is no strawberry shaped like an apple. <laughs> it's cute, though. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there has to be people that ship those two together, of course. Come on now.
Let's say you saw us from earlier. Yeah, you'll you'll get your next one soon. So I have to be like, I'm guessing they're all gonna get two or three each. I mean, because it seems like we're gonna go in and go Princess Creature vibe, where each girl is gonna get one for themselves. So, I mean, there was like what four keys for Go Princess. Nah, they're just all getting three. That makes sense. Mm hmm usually like that when a dog becomes a really decent animal in its entirety becomes attached to someone and then they're not there then of course they're gonna go lonely anytime i'm not gone i wonder what he's doing he probably cries my mom says like if i'm just going to the mailbox or something he will literally freak out <laughs> The more I look at her, she kind of looks like the French Poodle. Yeah, a little bit, maybe. Can't really tell, though. Are they going to show the dance up? Um, what the hell? I mean, it would have been better to show, like, the ending. I mean, they could have did, like, surgical prettier vibes where you know how they showed it, but I'm guessing when their movie comes out later on in this year, that's when we'll show it. It still makes me wonder who's going to be. Uh, the only thing that I know about the final cure, I think she's purple, I believe. That's the only thing I know. So I don't know her animal. And we'll find that out later on, though. But whoever voices her is going to be someone who was up in that league as much as Aoi Yuki. Because, you know, Aoi Yuki. Or it could be someone brand new. Because Aoi Yuki, in my opinion... She's the leading one as of right now until we find out who voices this next tour. And the other two are still new because I do know that Cure Sparkles VA is in the Idol Master series. She's more of on the computer game series instead of like a mobile game. Which, honestly, I could play, but it's too complicated. But okay, going on into this episode, this was a really good episode. I love the fact that, you know, as I said, Latte became too attached to Nadoka's mom. And of course, when an animal becomes attached to a person, and when that person is not there, they do get upset. Like I said, there are times where this little dog, my dog, Cody, anytime if I go outside, maybe just to go get the mail, just to go take the trash out, he gets upset. He gets really upset, honestly. B. Yeah, B. He will literally cry. He, <laughs> my mom has told me he has ran around the house like, trying to look for me and such. And then when I come back, he's all like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> And it's like the cutest thing ever, but when you are greeted home for like with an animal or a kid or someone, you just it's more heartwarming just to see them because then they're like, Oh my god, hey, you're home. I've been home by myself for like umpteen hours, which seems like it's nine thousand hours in a day, or 
you know, even if you just go to like Walmart or Target or Walgreens, just for like maybe 30 minutes and then you come back. <laughs> Poor thing just freaks out. I'm like, ah, ah, ah. I'm like, where the heck were you? I'm so scared. Like, why was I by myself? I didn't want to be by myself. But it's sweet because it's just like, oh, hey, how you doing? And I mean, because like some people, what they do with their dogs, they get these cameras. I think they're like these dog type cameras that you can put somewhere and you can call them towards the camera and they can just sniff and be like, hey, yeah, I'm okay. You can see what I'm doing and stuff. But like with my, um, my other two dogs, he passed away, Yanni and Kiana. Typically, all I know is that what they would probably do was just like eat and sleep or they would play together until someone would get home because usually I would be the first one to come home because I had school and I would get out from high school like at 1.45 going on 2 o'clock and then I would have to take them out. I would come home first, my mom would come home second, and my dad would come home last. It just depends sometimes. But yeah, because that gives you like this time to be with them. With him, when I come home, he's just like, ah. <laughs> and it's just so funny and sweet. And I just always have to make sure that he doesn't run after, um, run out of the door. So I have to kind of like push him back with my legs and just make sure, hey, like, step off. But yeah, honestly, it was a really good episode. Giving us, uh, like, a little mascot. And I'm going to say this until the end of the day. That is an apple. That is not a strawberry. A strawberry is, like, it has the head of a strawberry, but not the body of a strawberry. Strawberry is, like, pointed. That thing is an apple. That's why I was thinking, oh, okay, we're, we're doing an apple. It was, like, cute little apple thing. I want some apples now. I'm hungry. Even though I already ate. <laughs> but, yeah, it was so cute. But, I mean, the biggest thing is kind of wondering more about the last cure that I still want to kind of talk about. If we have a mascot of a rabbit, a cat, and a penguin... I'm still going to say it's a dog until I can think of something else. If it's not a dog, I can maybe see like a bird, like a, not a penguin, um, a flamingo, uh, a peacock maybe. I, I think a peacock would be really, really good, but um, a peacock is more um, multicolored. So I think that would go more back to Kira Cosmo from last season. So I don't know. I mean, because it's a possibility y'all know, and I don't, and I feel like, typically, maybe in the next few weeks, or in a month or so, we're probably going to get spoiled on it, because I think, because of the fact is, once the toys came out, everyone, like, figured out that it was going to be purple, and so that was the biggest spoiler going into this show. Now it's just thinking about what's the, um, the partner going to be. That's the biggest question, and we're not probably going to know that until later on. Maybe, see, they could do it, like, um, they do it one of two ways. One of the bad guys, like how they did with Go Princess Pretty Care, um, could be the final cure. Or it's maybe Latte herself. Maybe Latte can turn into an, a, a human. I'm not 100% sure because we're only six episodes into the show and it's just guesses. That's really what it is. I mean... If it was something like Maho Girls Pretty Care, where it was a baby and it was obvious that the baby was going to grow up into a human and become the great Sarami and be Cure Phillies, then yes. But with Latte right now, it's just six episodes and you don't really know. So, yeah. Other than that, <laughs> that is my reaction to towards episode six of Healing Good Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Mattress Squad, and of course, I will see you guys, especially y'all, next Sunday for episode 7. Bye, guys. Alexa, shut up. I wasn't even calling you. Bye, guys.